Measure not the work until the day's out and the labor done. Elizabeth Barrett Browning. I got absolutely nothing. Oh, nothing. Two pair of bases. Oh, oh get out of town. See, why are you always winning? Nuh uh. Because no. he cheats. Poker? It's mathematics? It's statistics? Oh, it's, yeah. you know. He's from Vegas. Uh, okay. House rules. There's that, too. All right, shuffle. Yeah. Give me a card. Hey, Hutch. Yeah. Did you send flowers to that tech room girl, Garcia, and say they were from me? Yeah. Why? Jason, people need to know that they're important, and sometimes you forget that. Well, I already sent her a gift, an MP3 player. They last longer, unless you drop them or the battery dies, whichever comes first. So she got two gifts. What if she thinks some sweet on her? <laughs> W.H. Auden said, murder is unique in that it abolishes the party it injures, so that society must take the place of the victim and on his behalf demand atonement or grant forgiveness. This is not how I plan to spend a few days home in New York. I'd kill for an afternoon at Barney's and dinner at El Cantonari. I'm looking forward to seeing New York. You've never been to New York? We've never had an unsub there. I thought you were going to talk to Reed about taking some vacation time. That's vacation time. Reed, it's a one-hour flight. Well, if, if we have some time, I'll show you around. It's a three-hour train ride, Max. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what we know. Blitz attackers are almost always male. Well, he got picked up in the pouring rain by a New York cabbie, so we definitely know he's not a brother. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he kills in a major urban setting without detection indicates that he's highly intelligent. No. So you know there was a big hole in the profile you presented back there. Can you pass the motion, please? Uh, what, what's the hole? I left out the possibility our unsub might be a cop. Well, they do know the system. They're definitely overworked and underpaid. They see so much injustice every day, they can easily take matters into their own hands. When someone like our victim is killed, police refer to the murder as a uh, public service murder. You know how many rapists I saw walk during my sex crime days? Neither the victims, they didn't want to press charges, or the juries, they said that she was asking for it. It was enough to make you explode. Well, it's a long way from feeling like that and actually committing murder, don't you think? Oh, not really. Should we get a fork, perhaps? <laughs> Did you know that experts credit Confucius with the advent of the chopstick? He equated knives with acts of aggression. You don't know how to use them, do you? It's like trying to forage for dinner with a pair of number two pencils. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, let me help you. Oh, the rubber band trick. Yeah, the rubber band trick. Well, New York City cops do have a lot of pressure on them. Every move they make is scrutinized. One of the first cases of criminal profiling happened when a New York City cop asked a criminal psychiatrist friend to help with the Mad Bomber case. The Mad Bomber was a major inspiration for the Unabomber. He eluded cops in New York for 16 years, starting in 1940, but he kept his promise and never set off a single bomb during the Second World War. Psychiatrist James Brussels, <laughs> he developed a profile so accurate, he predicted that when they caught the bomber, he'd be wearing a double-breasted suit and it would be buck. <laughs> you guys, we're here in New York, and even when we're not talking about our case, we end up talking about another profiler. All right. So, well. Are you seeing anyone? <laughs> uh, Gideon? <laughs> Why didn't you tell the cops that it might be one of their own? If we're going to catch the guy, we need all the help the cops can give us. Last thing I want to do is accuse one of them of murder. <laughs>